What is up guys, Quibinator here. I'm back and I'm going to show you guys, as promised, a uh, run through the history of games. So this will only be part one. I'll be releasing part two in about a week or so. Um, obviously need to find the games and, um, you know, obviously do the video and play the game and do the recording and all of that. But yeah, this is part one. I'm going to be playing Super Mario today. I'm also going to do Paper Boy. I'm also going to do one of the ultimate uh, shooting games that it was ever created. Um, that you're going to have to stick around to see exactly what that is. But uh, yeah, those are the three main games that I'm going to play today. The rest I'll be playing in part two and part three. And so it goes. Uh, there's so many games to go through. Um, I'm also going to do maybe a fourth game today and a fifth game. So let's do five games every um, episode. So episode one is definitely going to be Super Mario Paperboy, the secret uh, shooting game that you guys uh, probably will remember. I don't know if you're a 90s kid or an 80s kid. You might remember the game. Um, I don't think the guys in the 2000s actually played these type of games because that's when you know the PS released and all that and your uh, the more advanced games uh, released. So I'm not sure if a lot of people know these games. So yeah, uh, the fourth uh, game that I'm going to play after the secret shooting game will probably be... Yeah, let's do the last three. You'll have to wait and see what it is. Because, um, you know, saying it now, then you can just skip to the game. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, get you intrigued. Maybe you like the game. And uh, if you do like the game, hit the comment section. Um, and yeah, maybe we can... Uh, get a, a really nice full review on that specific game that you guys like depending on the comments so yeah guys um with super mario the one thing i remember about the game was uh there's a lot of secrets and hidden uh coins and hidden uh i don't know what you call it when you um basically collect it and you grow um uh, it might just be a power up so there's a lot of those ones uh hidden in the game uh, if you do remember one and I did not, you know, actually get it, please tell me uh, where more or less on, on the time limit of my video where that I actually missed this, so I can go and look for it and um, maybe do an apology video where I actually <laughs> get the thing. So yeah, um, in any game, um, this will be uh, just one or say let's do two levels or whatever of each game just to get into the feel of it and um, we'll take it from there so yeah guys I really hope you guys enjoy this video if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the bell thingy so that you know when I'm uploading a new one and please hit the comment section tell me what I'm doing wrong tell me what I'm you know really missing on the games and um, tell me which games you remember from your childhood and uh, yeah maybe I'll find them and play them for you guys so yeah let's start with Super Mario, here we go. Lack of fast music, uh, you can jump. Uh, <laughs> for all the kids that don't know, uh, yes, we could jump in the old days. Um, I'm going to try and remember most of the stuff that I did back then. I could never actually complete the game uh, in a fast time. Uh, it always took me a lot longer than it took... Uh, and it took most of the people. Um, I've actually seen videos of guys who um, finished this game in a matter of minutes, uh, which I'm unfortunately not able to do. I know about that. So, the nice thing about this, uh, kids, if you don't know, this uh, basically turns you into like a super, super Mario. So, nothing can actually kill you. That usually happens. Uh, that was the one most frustrating thing in the world where you're just about to hit that guy and um, the super power up disappears and uh, you die <laughs> most of the time and yeah with the flag so basically you had to jump all the way up and see how many points you can get um, I used to actually be able to reach the top I don't know what's wrong this is the first time I'm actually hitting the bottom, but it's been 20 years, so I, I think I can forgive myself for that. So yeah, this is the red Super Mario. Uh, basically, it just allows you to shoot fireballs, and yes, we could shoot back in that thing. So yeah, the nice thing about... Um, oh, 
the nice thing about uh, Super Mario, basically, um, it was created in the 1980s, and it just escalated from there. It became one of the most popular games in the world, and um, to this day, I think really this is one of the most favoured games in the world. Uh, if you're looking at the, you know, the, the older generations. Um, yeah, the, the main story of the game, uh, if you guys don't know, which I'm sure most of you do, uh, the main story is basically uh, the princess was taken and you are set out on this quest to actually go and find the princess. And, um, remember this hole? You know, this was always the toughest part to to come by. Like, most of us, we always fell into the hole. And I think that was the most frustrating thing in the world. And yeah, there's a secret location that I remember. Uh, the only one that I can actually remember is number three, uh, which just takes you to the next level. I'm not sure if all of them do, but there is a bonus level somewhere. No, it just takes you to the next one. So now, I'm, as you can see at the top, I'm at level 4 now. As you can see, the graphics not that great. Uh, I hate this. I really hated these dudes. Um, for a second, I couldn't remember. But the guy at the top, this guy here at the top, uh, he keeps on following you. And then, you know, he just doesn't stop. So yeah, you'll see, follow me. And as I go back, he comes back to me. My god, just disappeared. It happens when you... Oh, that was so close. Oh, I died. So yeah, let's uh, stop right there. Um, I don't want to, you know, go too long on each game. Otherwise, this video is going to be so long. So let's stop it there. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, stick around for the next game, uh, which is going to be Paperboy. Uh, for, you do, for those of you who don't remember Paperboy, yeah, let, me, <laughs> let me go out here before um, before I ruin this even more. Uh, there's a pause button somewhere. Yes, I paused. So, um, the next game is going to be Paperboy. Uh, if, for those of you who remember Paperboy, uh, tell me which was your best part. Um, basically, the whole thing was the same for me, but uh, it was a really fun game to play. I remember all the late nights that we actually sat and played Paperboy, me and my mom. And uh, it was a really fun game. Love you, mom. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, let's hit Paperboy next. And uh, we'll see you in the next one in about five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so, welcome to this one. Uh, if you guys missed it, the first uh, section of this video was about uh, Mario and. Um, this is just a sample, it's not me actually playing, um, you know, like, when you take too long to press the start button, they start playing a trailer of the, move, of, of the game. So yeah, uh, what, what I want to tell you guys quickly, um, Paperboy is basically about you delivering um, paper, obviously, and you obviously the Paperboy. Um, fun fact about the game, uh, it was actually uh, one of the most played games uh, back in the day. Uh, for some reason, it's... It's actually one of the fun games. <laughs> um, no idea why you just drive with your bicycle and um, throw papers. That's about it. And obviously avoid objects and so on. For the kids that don't know this game, um, this is the the proper graphics of 3D that we had in those days. Technically it's a 2D game, but um, it was created in the 3D type of setting. So yeah, um, nice thing about Paperboy as well is um, you still had to have a strategy on how you playing the game. Um, other than that, it's just pretty basic. So I'm going to play now. Okay, so this basically just shows you your customers and the red will be, well, obviously not your customers. So you don't throw paper to them and um, you throw paper to the customers that you do have. And also... You do not br want to break a window uh, like that, you you really lose out. <laughs> um, what's nice about it is it also uh, counts all the papers that you uh, throw out, meaning that um, if your papers run out, you're pretty much uh, done. Um, the goal of the game is basically to deliver all your papers to all your clients, or customers as, as they say.
And um, yeah, that 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 just confirms that I've actually delivered the paper. That's me collecting um, a new set of papers. So it basically it's like ammo. The dog will chase you. Just throw a, a paper to, <laughs> to the dog. Um, sounds kind of mean, but it, you don't like throw it at him. So yeah, basically what happened now is I've thrown the paper to the house, but it didn't make a sound, which means obviously I don't get that point. Um, yeah, these oaks with the cars. That was the the best cars in the world back then, back in the day. So this chick uh, will change you. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. This guy break dancing here on the on on the pavement. So yeah, what's what's really nice about the game is uh, you don't have to. You know, it's it's not like a racing game where you have to press the button and keep it down to keep on moving, unless you're turning. Um, so it rides by itself. My hands aren't even on the. Hey. So there, I just lost life because <laughs> the skateboard dude drove into me. Um, yeah, what's what's also really nice about the game is um, the simplicity of it. Um, I really enjoy it because you don't need to, you know, think too hard. The only strategy that you really have to work on is, you know, where where you want to be driving. Because, for instance, now. I'm close enough to this, but you, you're gonna have to avoid, you know, all the obstacles. So I'd go into the road. You can't go back onto the pavement from the road uh, unless you've got an opening like this. So yeah, it's, it's a bit just uh, thinking five seconds ahead. That's about it. So yeah, amazing game. Um, I almost hit that dude. And yeah, then it gives you a training course. Which I assume you just need to drive, I don't know. Okay, that counts for something. You don't want to hit the red ones, you want to hit the blue ones. Let's ramp here. Oh, I crashed. Yeah, that's game over. Daily report. It'll give you a report of how far you actually came and uh, how many you completed. And they cancelled their subscri subscriptions. So the goal of the game is you give all your um, clients the. Uh, I hit my mic again. So yeah, you give all your clients the paper, and from there they'll either cancel their subscription if they didn't receive a paper. And the whole goal is to get to the end of the week and still keeping all your clients or customers. So yeah guys, that's Paperboy, um, so up next is the Secret Ultimate Shooting Game, which was the best experience of my life. Uh, this actually changed everything about gun games, um, I really enjoyed this so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this too. Um, so hit the comment section and tell me what you guys uh, really thought about this game and if you've ever played it. And if you've never heard of it, tell me what you think, you know, seeing it for the first time. So yeah, guys, uh, the next game is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. And the name is Contra. So yeah, let's get into this. Contra. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, guys, this is Contra. Um... I'm only one player, so I'm going to pick one player. This is a game made in 1988. Well, by a company in 1988. So, this was actually the basics. A uh, little nice, first f uh, nice shooting game. Um, you can jump, you can shoot, you can go down and up. And that's about it. <laughs> so, no need for all the technical stuff where you need to aim down sight. Um, you don't get the hip fire. Well, this is technically just hip fire. But you just run and shoot the guys and uh, see how far you can get. That's about the game. See so yeah, the nice thing about this game was... Um, oh. I used to love to actually make it up. I'm not going to be able to get that. I'm just going to shoot these oaks and these oaks. So See, yeah, um, I've never actually managed to uh, finish the game, ever. Oh, I 
had to jump straight into that, didn't I? You guys die. And I didn't know how to... Um, I don't think you can go down. Ooh. That was so close. You All you guys saw how awesome I was just right there. <laughs> so yeah, um, basically what's nice about this game is you just run and shoot and try to, you know, finish the... Oh, I just lost that. You just try to finish the level. That was the nice thing about the game. And um, I can truly say that I've never actually finished this game. You know, it's, it's one of those things where I can never finish the game. Oh well. I don't know what that was. I think it was an extra life. I'm not sure. But yeah, the... Oh, nice laser gun. The nice thing about this game was, um, for me personally, is it, it's really basic. And um, you just try and finish the levels, you know, and it, it gets more difficult. Oh. It really does get more difficult to uh, try to... Yo, that was like really in between everything. So, now I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. Because I now need to... You know, <laughs> get to the start of this oak without dying so let me give it a try uh, before I die because once I die I'm gonna go back to the next game once I die I'll just continue with the next otherwise this video is gonna be way too long um, I'm really excited to play all these games for you guys and uh, show you guys all the amazing games that we played back in the 90s um, so yeah guys uh, the nice thing about Contra that I really 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 enjoyed uh, um, is you could sit in front of it for hours. Uh, the music, <laughs> uh, the music kind of gets stuck in your head after a while. Oh, I died. So that's the end of it. <laughs> See you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Contra as much as I do. Um, I'm, I'm not even close to the high school. Well, technically I am, but still. Um, Guys, tell me what you think in the comment section about this game. I really enjoyed this game a lot. Thanks for watching it. And uh, the next one, I'm going to be surprising you guys with a really cool game. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So, see you on the next one. Welcome to Tennis, guys. Uh, this was actually one of the, well, the first sport games uh, that we actually played a lot of. Um, also obviously made by Nintendo as you can see there in the background uh, it shows you just right there and um, yeah we actually enjoyed this game quite a lot to be honest um, I cannot remember any of the controls so I'm gonna try and get it right um, this was actually more more fun than I could ever imagine uh, obviously not close to the graphics that uh, you guys are used to right now uh, looking at uh, all the EA games and whatever but yeah, this was actually really basic, but really fun to play. So let's get into this. Um, select level. Okay, let's start with level one. <laughs> okay. Uh, obviously, I need to hit, and you can run around, and then you got a power shot and a normal shot. So it, it basically. Oh, okay. It basically uh, throws the ball in the air by itself. That sound basically meant that the, the ball was going really high. And I missed. Okay, that works. So yeah, the, the thing about the tennis was you really just uh, played a lot of um, multiplayer on it. This was actually one of the nicer multiplayer games. Your guy was never quick enough to get those. But yeah, um, this would keep a family busy for so many hours, you cannot believe. You know, this was one of the games that me and my brother really played a lot of. Um, I'm sure, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, like, I, I can I can be wrong about this, but I'm sure my dad actually played this game with me at some point in my life. And uh, <laughs> I think this is why he likes tennis so much, because uh, I was a really great opponent. I think that's why. But yeah, um, good memories. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, this is tennis. Um, I'm gonna try and beat this guy before I, you know, play something else. Oh, please tell me, please tell me 
it is the second serve yes so yeah before I move on to the <laughs> the next uh, final game that I'm gonna be playing today oh no I'll, okay no I'm, I'm still in it I'm still in it this is actually so cool that the game of this age actually knows the rules which is pretty cool it's uh Oh no, that was so bad. So bad. Yeah, rub it in, rub it in. See so yeah, how this um this game was actually made back then and the rules are still basically the same. Um obviously there's just a lot of uh people now uh you know on the field, you know, bring towels and catching the ball and all that. Back in the day I don't think that was actually a thing. I might be wrong. But yeah, this is tennis. <laughs> this is basically how it goes, and it keeps on going on and on and on like this. And obviously, you try and win your your, your share of everything. And obviously, as you saw, the level select that uh, that I chose on. That's basically back in the day. That's your difficulty settings. So you can choose to play level five, which is the most difficult that you got back then. Or you can just do level 1, which is supposed to be the easy one, but I'm losing this. As you can see, I'm not really good at it. But yeah, um, <laughs> let's move on to the next game, because I really suck at tennis. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, tell me if you guys actually play tennis a lot. And um, if you also, you know, like me, sat in front of the TV for so many hours playing this game. And I remember, you know, mom would call you to come eat and have uh, dinner and, you know, spend some time with the family. And this was me, you know, <laughs> just playing the game. Yeah, I know, I'm losing this game so much. So let's skip right on to the next one. I'm really sure you guys are going to enjoy this uh, final game for part one of this uh, series. I'm, I'm just losing. I'm, I'm just out. <laughs> I'm pausing. Pause. Can I pause? Yes, I paused. So yeah, guys, uh, let's jump straight into the next one. Um, tell me in the comment section if you guys really played this game and uh, what you thought of the game. If you haven't uh, played this game, looking at the graphics, um, you're comparing them to now, what do you guys think about the game? Uh, so I'd, I'd like to hear from you guys. If you really like the game, hit me a like there. And um, let's go straight through to round number five. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy the next game. I'll see you in there. Start. So this is called Circus. Um, so basically you're in the circus and you do all these really cool uh, tricks and whatnot. And you see how far you can actually get with the game. Um, entertaining and you know trying to get a really good high score. Uh, that wasn't me playing by the way. <laughs> So here you can uh, choose uh, one player or two player with um, all it's either C or B optional, I'm not sure. Um, let's uh, start the game and see what you guys think of the game. I actually remember that. So yeah, that's the music. All you basically do is you run and you jump through the circle. It actually counts down in meters. So yeah, you, you basically want to time everything perfectly so that you don't burn. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so my first trial burn. Stage one. So yeah, the nice thing about this game, this is uh, more like your summer games type of effect. Uh, just the graphics a lot different, um, obviously. Um, I'm going to try and time this thing now trying not to burn. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually finish one game in this, <laughs> in this entire episode of uh, going back in history. Um, yeah, the nice thing about this game was uh, you basically... Oh, I, I saw that coming. Yeah. The, the nice thing about this game is you actually just uh, try and you know, entertain the people, I, I assume. But you try and really get a high score. That's That was the ultimate goal for this game. That was a bit high. I can't believe. That's not even true. That's not worth it. Okay, this is my last life. <laughs> I suck so bad at these. Um, but yeah, th th that's the basic thing about it is 
you just really want to, you know, complete it and get a really high score. That was the, the main goal. Hey, I'm almost there. Let's see if I can actually make the last jump. I made the last jump, yay! And I got a bonus. So cool. So yeah, um, this is basically, you know, the really nice thing about the game is you just try and get a high score. That's basically all you do. Um, comparing this to the summer games, um, obviously the graphics is one thing that's uh, different. But tell me if you guys actually got stuck on this game. Um, I know a lot of people, like, for instance, my, my older brother, he never actually played this game. You know, and hey, what was that? My older brother, I don't think, played this game with me at all. Um, I think he was more into the car games, which I'll definitely be covering in the next video. Um, but my younger brother, I know, played this game with me for quite a while, and um, I'm almost certain my older brother didn't play I'm, I might be under correction here, uh, he might have, but I'll confirm that in the next video, <laughs> just to be 100% sure. I don't want to say he didn't play the game. But yeah guys, that was my top 5, um, well not top 5, the first 5 that I've been doing in this series. Uh, as we progress in the series of, um, you know, the playing the classic games, uh, we're going to have a look at all the different uh, genres, type of graphics. Uh, this was obviously the oldest uh, one that you still played on, you know, uh, well back in the day we just called it TV games or... You know, um, Game Boy or <laughs> you know all that. So I'm gonna try and cover as much of it as possible. And yeah, we'll we'll see where we get with uh, the next video. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. I do apologize for the dogs barking in the background. Uh, if you can hear them, um, it's night time, so you know how they go. But um, yeah, in the next video, we're definitely gonna be covering um, a bit of racing games and uh, see the age of that. But this is just basic as a, an introduction of the gaming world uh, where it started. Not 100% started, but you know, one of the first genres that I can remember. So yeah guys, I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give me a like, thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, give, hit the thumbs down and please hit the comment section tell me why. Um, sorry for making this video a bit long. Um, I'll promise I'll try and make it a bit shorter in the ne next one. And yeah, um, make sure to hit the comment section, tell me what you guys thought of each game and uh, which one is your favorite. And uh, definitely see you in the next one, guys. Make sure to hit the bell thingy. And yeah, thanks for starting this journey with me. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next one.